Middle School Science Curriculum plus Forensics equals Motivation Part 1. Have you ever thought of trying to add a forensics twist to motivate middle schoolers? Use the same curriculum and just give them a new storyline and context for learning. Also, I know what you're thinking, but forensics doesn't need to be gruesome to be motivating. The crime could be theft, breaking and entering, environmental pollution, or even cyber crime. You can stage the crime, then make the teachers, other schools, or community members suspects and tie the evidence to your existing curriculum. Stage the crime scene in the lobby or outside the building and bring classes to the crime scene and ask local law enforcement and CSI to help the kids collect and store the evidence. Then set up a school-wide clue grid for everyone to share in the progress. In the end, get the school to decide who the culprit is and have an assembly to tell them the real story or better yet, have the criminal confess. You can use the evidence as labs for your existing NGSS aligned curriculum. For example, sixth graders can use science and engineering practices to choose a culprit and then support their conclusion. Seventh graders can address life science standards through DNA testing and blood typing and eighth graders can address physics standards through chromatography and shoe impressions. You could use it as a week-long PBL activity. You could stage the crime at the beginning of the year and use it all throughout the year as they get to each new topic at a new clue or piece of evidence. It could be a concentrated week-long unit or you could use it as review stage the crime at the end of the year and have them review all the topics they've learned throughout the year. Does this sound like a great idea, but a lot of work, really hard to set up and coordinate? Then there's great news. It's all been done for you and it's available at Wards Science. Just go to www.wardsci.com and search for the case of That's Forensic Investigative Science Kits, or FISC, by CSI. There are four kits. Each kit is geared towards middle school curriculum. It has a well-thought-out nonviolent crime, at least six different labs or clues, an extensive teacher's guide with instructions for setting up the crime scene, suspects, or ways to make your own personalized sus suspects, their student worksheets, answer keys, and coming for 2024, an extensive NGSS alignment. It includes equipment for a class of 30, but if you have more than 30, there's also refill kits available for additional sections. That's FISC by CSI, available at Ward Sci. The first case is called the Lost Skull and an animal skull is left outside of the building. The students have to use a dichotomous key to figure out what kind of skull it is and then determine who left it there. In the case of the kidnapped cookies, the beloved Otis Spunkmeyer is kidnapped and there is a ransom note that's written in Spanish. The students have to interpret the note before they can get their warm chocolate chip cookies back. In the case of the missing mascot, another school breaks in and steals your mascot. In the process, they leave a mouth guard. The students have to analyze the mouth guard and use bite mark impressions to figure out who took your mascot. And finally, the case of the contaminated creek is a cold case with an environmental twist. It also has an engineering design task included. That's FISC by CSI, available at Ward's Sci. If you really want to take it to the next level and you want more STEM, STEAM, PBL, cross-curricular and career connections, then stay tuned for part two of Middle School Science Curriculum plus Forensics equals Motivation. Thank you.